yeah, we winning. Doing what we doing. We out here early, entrepreneuring. Ooh, we, we young, but we smart like Stewie. I'm the best me, so can nobody do me. Wealth and riches, we out eating good dishes. Mama, we made it. Fulfilling all our wishes. We gon' buy the whole world. By the grace of God, we did it. Winning. So I'm talking about this is Elijah Alexander and I'm here with the young entrepreneurs crash course and this is our first lesson in the whole series of the young entrepreneurs crash course and what we do is we enrich young entrepreneurs with the necessary understanding and substance to become everything that they dream so if you're ready to start winning then you are in the right place and really this stuff is universal so it doesn't really matter if you're young old this is just specifically geared to the young people. Um, I'm Elijah Alexander, and I'm here on behalf of the Wisdom Wealth Foundation, as I said. And our mission is to preserve and pass down wisdom and wealth to the younger generation. So that's exactly what we're doing. But you know what? Uh, you older folks listening, you can go ahead and get, get in on some of this good stuff, too. <laughs> so let's jump right into it. Our first step in the series, or in this specific lesson... Well, let me tell you what this lesson is about. This lesson is giving um, the 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 background, you know, the the substance. It's it's the actual substance of what you need to become a prosperous and successful entrepreneur. So, step number one is get a dream. It's simple, but get a dream. Most people don't have a dream. They just they just jumble some stuff together and they think that it's gonna work. It's not gonna work. You gotta get a dream, man and get a dream don't be in it for the money you gotta be in it for the dream for the prosperity for the happiness that is gonna bring you because when times get rough the money is not enough I want you to say that with me when times get rough the money is not enough and one more time when times get rough the money is not enough and all that means is when all these things start coming at you, when all these problems start coming at you, when it's going downhill, when it's not going right, the money is not going to be enough to motivate you. If money is what you're in for, then I suggest you go get a career. I suggest you go to school and get a degree that's going to help you make a lot of money. Not saying that being an entrepreneur, you can't make a lot of money. The, the potential is endless. It's unlimited for the amount of money that you can make. But if you're just in it for the money, it's not going to be worth it, man. You got to get a dream. You got to have a dream. And that's what's going to motivate you when the times get hard. Step number two, you have to change your perspective. You know what? Most of us have been thinking the wrong way about this the whole time. We think that in order to do one of our endeavors that we have to be qualified to do it. No, no, that's all wrong. In order to be qualified, you have to do it. Okay? We don't have to be qualified to do it, but in order to be qualified, we have to do it. All that means is that you got to fake it till you make it, man. You got to you gotta get out there, get experience, and that's how you become qualified. I don't care how many degrees you have. I don't care how many certificates you have. And I don't care how many lessons that you've heard on being an entrepreneur or your specific area or field. You're not going to be qualified until you go out there and you go get it, okay? So in that sense, you have to minimize the negative. We all tend to magnify the negative. Like, oh, I'm not going to be able to do this. Maybe I'm too young. Maybe I'm too old. Maybe I don't know enough about this situation. But what you really have to do, you have to minimize that. You have to make the positive greater than that. You have to say, oh, man, the, I could do this because I like to do this. I, I have the skills to do this. When I get on my family, I'm going to be able to provide for them. I'm going to be able to do whatever I want. I'm going to be financially free. I'm going to be stable. You have to get that mindset in your head. And that is what's going to push you through the hard times. Because you're going to have hard times. You're going to have opposition. But if you have the dream and you have the right perspective, 
Oh man. Oh man, they're in for it. You're gonna be able to take down anybody. Okay? And last step in this uh process or essentials is um work behind the scenes. You know what? You first have to do work behind the scenes. You to create the scene, you gotta do the work behind the scene. There's a director, there's a producer, there's a writer. There's so much stuff that goes on behind the scenes to get to the final picture. And it's so crucial because all this stuff that goes on is the foundation of what's going to be um, what's going to be structuralized. Think about it. When you do architecture, when you build a house, you have to have a strong foundation or else the wind is going to come and it's just going to blow it over. You have to plan. You got to have the blueprint. You have to have a strategy. You have to have, you know what? I know people always say this. Winners don't have a plan B. That's not necessarily true. Okay? Winners have a plan B. Winners just don't have to use their plan B. Winners are so confident in their plan A that they usually never have to get to that plan B. But trust me, they have a plan B because that's how they win. There's some winning teams that you know it's a close game to get in a tie. You have to have a plan B. You're not always going to be the top dog. And if you don't have a plan B, oh, well, man, you you, t- you know, take that first L. So that is our first Young Entrepreneur's Crash Course. We know that you'll be tuned in for the next one, and we're excited for that. Um, during the course of this series, we're going to have other young entrepreneurs come in, share their testimonies and their stories with you, give you positive words, help motivate you, give you some tips. So stay tuned for this series. <laughs> We're going to be winning. So again, this is Elijah Alexander on behalf of the Wisdom Wealth Foundation. We hope you enjoy it and we'll see you next time. A special thanks to our sponsors, our mentors, and our advisors. We appreciate you. Thank you.